My name is Eduardo Arocho, and I am the owner of Paseo Boricua Tour Company. I'm also a poet and a historian, and I'm going to tell you about the mural La Crucifixión de Don Pedro by Mario Galán, José Benmúdez, and Hector Rosario, who made up part of the Puerto Rican Artist Association. <laughs> The background of the mural, which is two stories high, is uh, the flag of Lares. The flag of Lares was the original Puerto Rican flag made in 1868. Above that are six portraits of heroes, lawyers, uh, abolitionists, poets, leaders of the early independence movement and abolitionist movements of Puerto Rico. And then probably one of the most prominent parts of the mural are three crosses. The central figure is uh, Pedro Albizu Campos, and then the two figures on the side, one is Lolita Lebron, and one is Rafael Cancel Miranda. The mural was first painted in 1971. You know, I was born in 1970, so I'm only a year older than the mural. I haven't all, only watched Paseo Boricua, become what it is today, but I've also participated. My participation has helped me to really understand how important it's become to preserve the area. One of the reasons why we're uh, wanting to pursue a fundraiser is because the lot that is in front of the mural has you know, also deteriorated plans now to really update the garden to remove the raised beds and to pave it at a performance gazebo where we can uh, once again schedule performances and open mics and, and also partner with some of the neighboring businesses. The importance of, of the mural living on really has to do with the pursuit of the community to prevent erasure. Gentrification erases the history of the community that was there before. We want to be seen, we want to, our, our history to live on with us and to prevent that, that erasure uh, of those important uh, aspects of the community.